So how can RMR testing fit in with your practice? Let me walk you through how to make the review a powerful tool for you and your practice. Consider these four applications for baseline RMR measurement during an initial exam. First, assess. By accurately pinpointing just how many calories your patient needs to consume to lose weight, you will be able to screen for those who fall outside the norm and need specialized treatment plans. Second, teach. Using a patient's own results to show them how their body can truly burn more calories than they consume puts what would otherwise be theory into real life. Studies show that this is the ideal circumstance to elicit behavior change. Third, refer. Armed with the proper medical assessment, your patient is now ready to be referred to a weight loss expert. You may have a program set up within your practice, or you may want to refer to a bariatrician or community-based program. Your core representative will be happy to assist you with this next step. And finally, manage expectations. If you are managing patients through the weight loss process, you are aware of the importance of managing expectations. When patients start a program and lose less weight than they hope to in the first few weeks, they will likely fall out. Studies confirm that unmet expectations is one of the highest causes of attrition. An RMR measurement allows you to predict each patient's weight loss at each phase of your program. That way, the person with the slower metabolic rate is prepared rather than disappointed when they don't lose as much weight as their friend with a higher RMR.